I've often thought about prisoners who spend so much time isolated from the world. It's hard enough not seeing other prisoners, let alone one's mother, wife or children. But what about animals? Does their presence make a difference? Could you appreciate a crab or a lizard in your cell? I've already explained how nightmarish camel spiders ran around terrorizing and liquefying the flesh of prisoners in Bagram. But there were other animals that I found fascinating too. In Bagram, we used to call the ants 4x4 four four ants because they were so big. I'd often stare at them, mesmerized at their soldierly, efficient approach to dismembering a dead scorpion, centipede or dung beetle. In fact, I welcomed ants far more than other insects. Guantanamo was also teeming with wildlife. Sometimes we'd get to see it. When I was allowed out into the caged recreation area for 15 minutes a day, I'd see huge turkey vultures perched upon posts with their strange looking heads and huge wings stretched out cooling in the morning sea breeze. A sea I couldn't see. Sometimes moths would fly into my cell. Some were as large as birds. Once there was a repeated tapping on my metal cell roof, which kept the guards busy and frustrated. They realized it was a red-headed woodpecker that was either confused or perhaps was trying to break me out. They'd throw stones at it and it would fly off, laughing, just like Woody Woodpecker. I'd laugh too. Snakes, banana rats and lizards often came, became our cellmates. Some prisoners would feed them and keep them as pets before they were removed. Although our fellow humans are our primary concern at Guantanamo, animals often provided a much valued glimpse into the preciousness of life. They were welcome guests during the most solitary of days, days that we will never forget. أخي صبرا أنا من الفراقي